Welcome to Narrowboat that James built. I hope you're well, thanks for joining me. Well, it's Saturday afternoon. I'm back from my sister's birthday shenanigans. Um, and there's a quite a few kind of smallish jobs that I'd like to just get done. There's a bit of um, painting, exterior painting to be done. There's some interior electrics to be done. Um, and then I think we're having a bit of a jam and a party tonight. So that's the plan. Yeah, so now some diamonds and I think obviously I've just got to work out where the halfway mark is but the halfway mark is not just this door so when you open this door on its own you're gonna have more of the diamond on this door than you are on this door Okay, so I've masked one up, um, really, just to see kind of what it looks like once it's all been painted. Um, but obviously the way I'm doing it means I can't paint them all. Even if I take, well, the only way I can do it is by taking the masking tape off kind of straight away once the paint's gone off. Or once the paint's gone on, shall I say. Uh, so I'm going to put the cream on now and then uh, stand back and have a look at it. Okay, so that's the first one done. First coat, obviously. Well, I'm in the process of touching up some of the paint around of the boat at the moment. And uh, John's just come over and said how nice it was of me to let Matilda paint some of the boat. And I had literally no idea what he meant. And he said, yeah, yeah, you know, on your tiller, on your tiller arm. And then I <laughs> walked around here and I realized, not only did I do it at night, but I've done like such a bad job. Well, I guess it was all around the back. Right, so uh, this is gonna be fixed. That's next on the list. Right, John. I don't know where to speak or not. So I... <laughs> oh, that's alright. It looks fucking great. Thanks, man. Till you get up close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is very good. Nice colour. One, two. Okay, so I'd have to say that works. 
I like that. And it kind of works even on angles. Which, because it's on that ridge, I wasn't so sure if it was, was going to. But it kind of does with the way it's been painted. So I reckon four of them vertically is going to look good. The only thing I'm going to work out is do I want to get any more colour on it as opposed to just the cream? That is something to uh, consider. Well, this is something I was not expecting to be doing uh, tonight, anything in the engine bay, but uh, John met guy earlier um, who came down here with a similar engine to this and they got chatting and apparently the guy is like an expert in Lister engines anyway so we're just in John's Winnie having our third beer and uh, John said I might give this guy a call and see if he can come down and discuss the gear lever and the uh, the mounting of that and everything like that anyway so we got him on the phone and the guy said oh yeah i'll come down now i'll be an hour um and uh so yeah he's at the welford y he's on his way down in his work boat um and john thinks he might have all the bits to fix it or to kind of reposition it in some way that is more usable which is amazing so uh yeah the guy's on his way now so i'm just going to tidy up and uh, set up some lights because by the time he gets here it'll probably be pitch black so that's what I'm doing so at least he can see it oh shit well this guy has got a very interesting setup here well, there's a lister at the front Quite a lot of bits on the board. This is the guy's work boat. I can see a list of gearbox on the top of there. Wow. Hello, mate. You're right. Ben. Uh, is one in action on the offside? Is it that one there? Yeah, there's my one. That's an SR2. Uh, SL2, but the same engine. Right. Basically. And if you look on that one underneath it, that one's got the push me pull your gearbox as well. Which is what James has got. Yeah. Okay. Wow, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to learning a bit about what I've actually got, to be honest. Yeah, Benson, come on. Right. Oh, John, are you yeah. What's your poison? The electrics, mate, to be honest with you. Cheers, dude. We haven't looked at the electrics. But yeah, I mean, that feels fine to me. What, in terms of being able to do something about it? Yeah, because what I'd do to that is I'd weld a bracket on somewhere up here, right onto that, and put the lever over here. So when you have a bar across it, if you push it forward, it then pushes the lever down here, which then locks it forward. Yeah. So that's what I would do for that. And you've got the struts on here yeah. to put some sort of mechanism in. Like, so you've got the bar over here, you've got a rod that comes through, and then you've got a pulley for like a, a bell crank. So when you push that forward, it pushes it like that. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean that. You think that's good? That's absolutely fine. It's fine. The real test would be when this goes back in the water, will it slip? There's not really much it can do on the hard standing. Right. I don't think it slipped though. I mean, you'll find out. Yeah. The worst case scenario, all you've got to do is take the four bolts off the top, lift the cover off. There's basically two rockers in here one one here one here which are operated by that shaft the upper one's the forward one mm -hmm. all you've got to do is undo the lock nut rotate it one degree or like a quarter of a turn lock it all up and test it all you do but i'll give you a copy of the manual for that 
Come down and I'll show you how mine goes. Right, bear in mind mine's hot. Hot. Yeah, yeah. But it literally half a turn and mine fires straight up. Oh, okay. Right. Can I just go and have a look? Yeah, let's have a look. But literally. Is it the same engine as yours? Uh, mine's an ST. Mine's right. a 22 horsepower version, basically. But same engine, basically. Well, I'm definitely in good, safe hands here. Um, ben showing us his YouTube channel full of videos of him servicing and redoing Lister engines. So uh, check it out. It's uh, Lister Diesel Workshop. I'll put a link to it. But um, yeah, this guy is uh, happy with my engine and we're gonna have a look, closer look at it tomorrow. But um, yeah, this is uh, superb. Well, Ben's had a little look around the, the, uh, the boat. He obviously knows exactly what it is. Uh, he's come up with a decent solution. Um, we're still gonna have a lever, but it's gonna be located um, basically not in the middle um, and it won't have that much travel to it but he said that's the easiest way of doing it without changing the gearbox which you know there's no way I'm doing that yet so um, yeah so that seems to be good he's gonna um, he's gonna stick around tonight so he's just he's just mooring up now um, and John and I are gonna treat him for a few drinks and then tomorrow he's gonna basically get whatever welding equipment we can scrape together He's going to put some brackets on it and see if we can come up with it. The only thing we need is to work out if we can buy or make the bearings that we're going to need. But um, we're going to yeah, basically get started on it tomorrow. So that's going to be excellent because uh, that means I can kind of get cracking on the uh, on the stern area, which obviously I need to do. So uh, but I've been putting that off thinking, well, if that does move, I can't really do much until I know what I'm doing with that gear lever. So. Uh, if we've got a plan for that, then that's uh, that's excellent. So uh, he had a look around the engine, thinks it's all fine. Um, obviously, as you heard, I need a really strong starter battery, a uh, really powerful starter battery, some meteor cables, but that's something that Paul and I are going to be cracking on with over the next few days anyway, or a couple of weeks or whatever. So uh, yeah, it's all taking shape. Um, the diamond looks really good on the front, um, different angles, it kind of catches it in different ways, but I'm going to crack on with that pattern. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do colour wise, but I'll start. I'll do them all cream and see what it looks like. Basically, see what you what you guys make of it all. Um, but now John and I are going to go and sit in the winnie and have some beers with Ben. So uh, hope you guys are all very well. Take care. Bye bye.